up y'all good morning it's peaches your favorite nail tech back again with another video y'all look at this look beautiful xl really cute ombre there go the dogs going off first thing in the morning we love that um <laughs> they also glow in the dark you guys i'm sorry i just woke up like literally 30 minutes ago okay before we even get into the video let's go ahead and do our subscriber shout out today's subscriber shout out goes to flashy rose subscribe since yesterday thank you appreciate your support y'all already know subscribe turn on your notifications if you ain't why haven't you like come on let's go so the nude that i'm using is second nude and then this blue color right here is a custom mix that i did originally she chose the color um I'm sorry y'all my brain is literally not all the way up yet she chose the color open mind by not polish because it's not not polish it's not what it's not nothing so i basically mixed three different colors and i got this color on the first try like i didn't have to like keep going back and forth i had a little bit of um flash mob in this jar that's the jar that it belongs to i put like a little bit of azure a little bit of tropical bam this is what i got and it also glows because flash mob is a glowing color and um open mind is a glowing color so it worked out you know so this video is fully application it is a longer video um this particular appointment we really was just chilling so i didn't have anybody else after her y'all i'm so sorry for the email notifications like <laughs> wow so i thought this would be perfect for those who like to watch application and who like to get a closer in-depth look on how to have consistent application on each and every finger um this particular client also has small nail beds but they are small in a different way from the video i posted the other day because this client is what people would typically think small nail beds look like when they think of small nail beds okay so um what we're gonna go ahead and do is an ombre a full ombre so because her nails are smaller our acrylic is going to stretch a little bit longer so i personally when i do my ombres i like to always put the bead where the nail tip and all that meet and then i kind of blend it up a little bit and then i just drag the rest down now when i do ombres and i have tons of ombre videos on my channel you guys can go ahead and look through and see i have very in-depth ombre videos as well but when i do ombres typically i don't like to do just a flat layer i like to do a layer that has a little bit of substance a little bit of strength so that way later on all i really have to do is i'm capping in clear to really protect the ombre okay so um also when you just add a really really thin layer what happens is like not only do you have to cap way more but like your color your opacity may be affected so keep that in mind so back to her her nail bed size so the other day i did a client whose nails were smaller but they were wider and also shorter than this so you can see kind of like how i'm doing things and when i do put the beads um there you can see a little bit more of her nail is uh exposed if you look on her nail before i put the um acrylic on the client from the other day her pinky was a six her um middle fingers like all three of her fingers was like fours and i want to say her thumb was a one so that indicates that yes her nail beds are small because they are short but like they are like width wise they're a little bit wider than what you would typically i guess expect or think of now this particular client that i'm showing you right here today child her pinky was a nine and that's what most people think when you, you think of like oh her nose is so small her pinky's a nine okay um and her ring finger is like a a five her index her, her uh, middle is a four her index is a six i believe and that's a little bit more like i said a little bit more common when it comes to smaller nails but just don't think that there's not a lot of people out there that have small nails but like width wise they're they're larger because i seen i seen everything there is to see almost um i'm sure there's a lot of things that i will see but just as far as like nail bed sizes like there's a lot of different combinations and i feel like i've i've seen so many at this point so the difference in this particular uh client with what we're going to be doing is y'all i'm sorry my i'm still waking up so 
The difference is really gonna be in the nail bed area and how that cuticle bead goes. So when we get there, I'll kind of talk a little bit more in depth about that because the other client had wider nails. Um, we were concentrating more on making sure everything fits from sidewall to sidewall. And on this particular client, we're gonna have to focus more on keeping the acrylic more centered, if that makes sense. So we don't have a lot of spill and overflow. So like I said, this part, I have tons of videos going ahead and showing you guys how to do a detailed ombre, but a lot of people were expressing that they do like application and real time application. So I went ahead, put this video together and honestly, I fell asleep last night. Um, I fell asleep last night and that's why it didn't get uploaded last night, basically. So that's why I woke up this morning and went ahead and did this. So, oh man. So, um, what am I looking at? Sorry, you guys, I was checking my emails. So, as you guys are looking at the way I'm doing my application, and again, everybody's different. You guys know I use a more curved tip, um, right, just regular, like, tips that you'll get from the nail supply. And it's, different than doing straight tips I feel like but then again it's kind of interesting because there's people on my channel who will ask if I use straight tips and I didn't realize that from certain angles it kind of looks like that I kind of felt like it was a little bit more obvious so that's kind of funny and interesting to me because as different as they are it's still hard for people to tell so I always find that interesting because I get a lot of girls that will be like oh um, do you do straight tips da, da, da. and I'll be like no girl like they'll ask me at the appointment but you know they're still good them and they'll be like wow these are so cute so I feel like in reality as long as you do a good job with nails I don't really feel like it for real matters what type of tips that you like because if you do a really good job they will come to you you know what I'm saying so all right the interesting thing about this whole thing, okay, so look, the reason why this video is so long is not because it typically takes me 30 minutes to do this. I'll say, okay, realistically, if I was going at a faster pace, it would probably take me only 20 minutes to do this ombre on each hand instead of like 25 minutes or whatever. But we were having like a really good time and she was telling me about um, a nail tech that she went to that when she walked in, it really smelled like dookie. And I thought she meant like, Oh, you know, <laughs> it smelled like shit, like, oh, it's stinking here. But she was like, no. As soon as she went in there, the nail tech had told her, um, basically, like, my dog had diarrhea, so sorry about the smell. And then she was like, oh. And then she was like, it smelled so bad during the appointment. She locked the dog in the room. You could smell everything. The dog was scratching at the door. Then the nail tech's friend came in and was like, oh, you're still working. Like, hurry up. Um... Then the nail tech's friends started offering the client some alcohol, some weed, all of that stuff. Oh yeah, and you guys already know, Young Nails, Core Clear. And just basically telling her like, oh, you're still working, like hurry up so we can go out. She, the nail tech's friend convinced the nail tech to call the next client and cancel her appointment 15 minutes before the girl appointment. Like, ain't that wild? Like, let me know down below if you guys have heard or had some wild experiences with nail techs, okay? So, look, now, if you've watched the other video that I'm referencing when I'm talking about this, <laughs> her nail beds are more slimmer. They're slimmer and smaller. So do you see how I have to kind of use smaller beads so that way we don't have spilling on the sides? Now, when doing like colored ombre like this, you really need to focus on getting the blend first. That, at least I focus on getting the blend first before I finish off the cuticle area because when you do add that cuticle bead that's where it's going to be most concentrated and so when as you like blend the cuticle bead down see how I'm getting very close you got to get all the way up to that skin get close as possible you see how you can still see that little gap up there I'm going to try and tuck it in and and get it in there so basically when you add that cuticle uh, bead there it's going to add the opacity that's where it's going to be most opaque because i mean that's where the color pretty much comes from so tuck it in tuck it in tuck it in 
and then now that you add that cuticle bead you can see okay where do i need to keep blending at so i'm adding another bead because her nail beds are smaller so the apex does not need to be very large at all even though these nails are xl i still do not need to add a bunch of acrylic because at that point if you have um small nails and you're just adding a bunch of acrylic you're making the apex way larger than you need to be you're gonna have lifting because if they hit their nail or anything like that there's gonna be so much pressure with that cuticle bead that um girl what hold on so um i'm yo i'm sorry these people just be blowing my phone up as soon as i wake up it's crazy so yeah so basically what will happen when you put too much acrylic in the cuticle area especially on nails that are smaller is that you're going to get lifting because if they hit something there's going to be so much pressure there that it's just not going to be able to handle it to be honest with you it's just not like you're not going to be able to get it flush and it's really just going to be a really big hump so you can see whatever i used to make the um what is that called whatever i used to make the color in the apex area do you see from the side the side view how nice and smooth that is i'm basically just going to use the clear to match up the thickness that i need to get with the apex area so once again okay and look how small the, of a bead that i'm using compared to what i'll typically do um so i'm just gonna let it sit there and literally we're just going to start off the blend and honestly it's not going to be blended every time like completely perfectly but this is just what we're going to do to start off the blend and this is how you figure how far down do i want it so by doing this it's just going to cause a repetition that you need to be practicing with so that way you know how to get a consistent appearance every single time so again you see how I use a smaller bead in the cuticle area and we're going to push it up and her nail beds are a lot slimmer than the last um, client that I showed you with small nail beds. So we don't have to worry about sidewall to sidewall because it's going to automatically go ahead and do that with the bead that you put. Like once it spreads, it's going to fit. What you'll be worrying about, you will be worrying about trying to make sure her sidewalls do not flood. So once you have that initial first B, you see how now I'm back focusing on the blend. We're back focusing on the blend. And then we're going to go back and focus. I'm sorry, you guys, like I got to go to work and I want to get this video out, but I got a little bit of stuff to do. So we're back focusing on the blend. And then we're going to make sure that we have a consistent blend. So we need to see how I felt like, okay, I'm dragging it a little bit too far down. I get rid of some of that and then I go back in and then I will fix it. So I felt like it was getting dragged down too far, but the area above that was not opaque enough. So do you see how there's a difference with dragging the actual ombre down versus like worrying about where the opacity is the most opaque, I guess. So then you can see with the, um, clear i'm going down to protect the ombre her nails are on the smaller side so one medium well i don't know what, what size bead you guys would consider this because my brush is like different than most people it's bigger than most people but one like medium sized bead should do it and we're going to make sure that we're dragging it down and we're covering the side walls of the nail because we don't want the color to be filed off and we're gonna look from the side and see what the apex is giving. So do you see this type of apex? Actually, the other day somebody commented on one of my videos that, um, you know, they do watch my videos although they don't like curved nails because they feel like they're just, you know, a big hump as the apex. And I just really don't believe that's true because I see that on straight nails as well. So I just felt like I wanted to kind of address the fact that Curved nails can be nice. I don't know why people just, 
I really feel like it's you have to do a good job for anything to look nice. Like, I don't really prefer straight nails, but I can see when someone does a good job with what they're doing, you know? Like, I'm not going to wear a straight nail, but at the end of the day, like, I can appreciate when someone does a good job. So, just kind of really think about it. Like, you know, I really don't, I like, my feelings never get hurt over comments or anything, but, you know, for other people that may share that same opinion, just know I do curved nails and my stuff is not humpty lumpy no more. And granted, it is a way different structure than some straight nails. I really feel like a lot of people who do uh, straight tips, there's really no structure. I, I hear people saying that they are a lot thinner and maybe like less secure feeling than when I do their nails, just from my clients' experiences, just because I have you have to have a certain structure with a curved nail or honestly, if you don't have enough acrylic, it will the, the, the nail will not dry. Like it's really a crazy thing. So just for you guys to know, don't just associate curved nails with being just like lumps of just nothing, you know, that's so, that's that on that, you know, I'm an advocate for curved nails because they look really good as well, okay? So back on topic. So again, as we're building up the apex area, tuck those beads, okay? You see how now you kind of cannot see where the acrylic starts and stops. And, okay, you see how that red got in there? Sometimes with nudes and pinks and stuff and reds, the acrylic kind of like breaks itself down or something. And you can kind of see different color components. It don't happen too often. And there's no like, ooh, why does that happen? But don't be alarmed, okay? Because it is something that can happen. So, yeah. After we put that apex together, we're gonna go back and focus on the blend. Now, do you see right now, I could leave it like this and we could be like, oh, okay, like this is really nicely blended, but we're gonna go up there, fix the apex, and we're going to drag that down, okay? And I'm telling you, after you put the apex together, you're gonna see like, dang, is this ombre, did I blend down too far? Is it not far enough? Because it's really easy to start your blend and just keep going down. I feel like a lot of people do this. They'll start the blend, they'll go down like halfway down the nail, and when then when you put the apex on, now you realize, damn, I have more nude than I do color. And the reason that is because, is because an ombre is not a 50-50 nail. An ombre is gotta be like 30-70, or 60-40, or even 80-20. You can even do 90-10, hell. But it is not 50-50. One color has to be a little bit more than the other color. And that's where people kind of make a mistake. And honestly, when you're doing color ombre like this, I highly suggest letting the color do more of the more of the showing. Just because the last thing you want to do is spend all that time laying color and then just to cover most of it up with nude. And now once you file, like the area is even shorter. Like that's that's not the look that you want to go for. Not to keep in mind that no, not to keep in mind. No, 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 that ain't it. Also, you know, just keep in mind that when I lay down the color as high as I do, it's to help with the blending. So if you lay down the color not that high, basically what's gonna happen is you're going to overcompensate with the nude and now all the blank space you have, it's automatically going to have to be opaque because there's nothing to blend into. Like if you try and blend, when the color is like placed lower on the tip you're gonna just see your nail bed through you know what i'm saying so i'll probably do another in-depth um like ombre tutorial but this one is just to kind of focus on just you know working on a, a just another type of nail bed in general while doing ombre not necessarily like just like ombre shit in general so here we go this one i did choose to do like a bigger bead it just for whatever reason i guess and then just go ahead and blend it down and you can see the start of the blend now see here i did you do not super duper small beads only because you want the stuff to actively blend and be opaque so if i were to use beads that are too small you're not going to like yeah it'll look like it's like fading down but it's not going to give you the color payoff you're looking for and you need a balance of both so you see how i'm doing the apex area pushing up that bead into the cuticle area and 
you can see we're not having really any flooding or anything like that no issues push everything into place because the last thing you want to do is to have a bulky cuticle area and you have someone whose nail beds are this small it's not a good look and if anything it makes your nails look way more bulky and if her top area up here her cuticle area uh, and went outside of her nail wall so basically you see how all the acrylic fits between her finger like when you look at it you can clearly see both sides of her fingertip let's say if you made it too bulky and you're not really able to see her fingertip too well these are square what you're going to end up with is a coffin naturally because it's going to be hard for you to fix that bulkiness to make it look natural again so as you're filing you're naturally going to be filing from wide to something that's already more whatever shape you want to so it's going to end up looking like more coffin down anyways so i'm just blending back up because i felt like it was up too much like the blend was up too much but that part was like not opaque enough and by that i mean like i can see too much blue through in one spot and you see that i'm just wiping away some of that new because i felt like it was down too much okay so it really is just like an interesting thing everything is like techniques once you figure out the way you like to do it you know because i can tell you a million one ways up and down the street how i like to do an ombre but if you try it and guess what maybe it's not working for you then take that and figure out what what is working for me and what can i combine that with i really appreciate how many people actually say that my videos have been helping them because honestly that's the goal and i really like educating people i really like showing people because i didn't really have that when i started doing nails okay i kind of thought i did but i uh, now looking back I, I felt like that person kind of did it just to say like oh I helped you but in the end it didn't even turn out to be being helped I don't know how to really explain. it's kind of hard to explain but like I felt like I didn't really have someone that was like genuinely trying to answer questions and just do what I'm trying to do for y'all basically I guess now I'm not gonna lie this index finger the way I sat the apex it was kind of far from the cuticle area well you kind of can't tell from here but I fixed it later on with filing so it ended up being okay but I do want to do another video for you guys that's kind of like hey where did I mess up and how do I fix it it's just like I have to it doesn't really ha happen that often so I'd have to like purposefully make mistakes or something and when I do that I feel like they don't really look like for real mistakes like you guys would look at it and be like girl it ain't nothing wrong with this so I'm kind of having to wait until a time where like I really actually mess up you know um who is this I'm sorry y'all I'm checking my phone like I said I'm going into work I think I gotta be at work at 10 30 I should probably be double checking that huh so just make sure with the thumb you're doing the same. Ooh, 1025. Oh shoot. Okay. So just make sure that even on the thumb, you're you're tucking everything in. And it will get easier when you're doing people who do have smaller nails. It may seem like more difficult now if you're not used to it. But over time you will get used to it. You will get used to it. So don't worry. Okay. Don't worry. Just practice. Honestly, just practice. Like every time that you do a set, do that set with intent to get better. Don't like in your head, put it like, yeah, I can see this going well. Cause honestly, after every, people always ask me, what's your favorite set? And I always tell them like, man, I got a, I got a favorite every, every day because I really love my work and I really feel like my work is just kind of under valued or underappreciated but you know what? I believe in myself and I know the sets that I do I feel proud of them after so if you can genuinely feel proud of yourself after your set and you're genuinely noticing improvement every time you do something that's the goal that is the absolute freaking goal because as your journey moves along like once you start to feel stagnant you need to get in your head like okay how do I make this look like that or well not like that as in someone else's like work 
But like, you know, you can admire someone's work and be like, dang, their shape is so crispy. How can I work to that? Or like, wow, um, I see some nails that are like really blended. You can think, now let me start to actively work on my blending. You know what I'm saying? So this is the last nail. Um, you know, the application is gonna be finished. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Uh, full time, how is it called? Real time, real time application video. You guys already know to comment, like, and of course, don't forget to freaking subscribe. Turn on your notifications, okay? Because if your notifications aren't on, how you know that I'm posting? Y'all already know, every single day, well, pretty much every single day, okay? Unless I fall asleep or something. But you guys, I'm booked for the next two weeks, really booked and busy. So like I said before, I may have like double, um, double uploads. So really turn on your notifications so you really don't miss a beat. And you know, once again, I really got, I really appreciate you guys. We hit 500 subscribers literally two days ago and we're about to be touching 550. So I really have the goal that by the summer, I'm going to be at a thousand subscribers and hopefully getting paid to be doing YouTube. Like you guys, that would be such a dream. And that's what I'm working for right now. Cause you know, I, I need another form of income. I, I want to make some of this YouTube money, you know? So here we go. I'm going to show you guys that result of application, which is not perfect. I can't, I think I showed this hand yet. It's not like the most perfect that I've ever done. There's like a little something, something hanging off, but you know, it, it got filed away. So here is the filed and, um, yeah, filed. I don't know what I was going to say. And then of course the final result. Once again, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what else you guys want to see below. Leave me a comment and I'll see you guys in the next video.